Thank you, Madam Speaker. Since the inception of our democracy, the right to vote has been the fight to vote. It has been the fight to vote for anyone that is not a white male property owner. And the fight to vote continues today, as does the right to have your vote matter. I learned this growing up in Pasco, where despite growing up in a neighborhood and attending schools where everybody looked like me, none of my elected leaders did. And it's not because people weren't voting, it's because at-large election systems inherently are unfair and they can drown out the voices of communities already on the margins. In 2018, we passed a law, the Washington Voting Rights Act, to ensure fairness in our elections. This followed costly litigations in the cities of Yakima and Pasco that after restructuring led to more equitable outcomes. And in fact, in the city of Yakima, after restructuring, the people elected the first three Latinas to ever serve on Yakima City Council. The Washington Voting Rights Act works and its promise is available to every Washingtonian, but we have to lower the barrier to access it. And that's what this bill does. It unlocks the promise of the Washington Voting Rights Act, of the Washington Voting Rights Act for every voter in Washington. Let's finish this fight tonight.